tutorial as you guys can tell by the title today I want to give you guys naturally star natural vibe braid out something that is very effortless and something that is definitely going to last you a while so I did go ahead and try the braidless crochet technique for the first time and I want to show you guys my thoughts on the technique the pros and cons as well as something that is somewhat of a tutorial it's not really a tutorial because I didn't film it like that but if you guys want to see and hear everything that I have to say about this hairstyle and all that then keep on watching before we get into it though don't forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're new drop me a comment and say hey all right stay tuned let's get into the video so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did the braidless crochet technique on my hair and I did like a braid out type of thing as you guys can see very lightweight um, and uh, it's easy to achieve I guess you can say um, it did take me a while I actually attempted the style over a period of like three days on and off um, and that's because I was kind of taking my own time to do it because I know I didn't necessarily need to be I didn't need it to be done in like a rush or not like that I just needed it done and I didn't have anything doing over those days so I just took my time and did it piece by piece by piece so um, first what I did was I went ahead and I put my hair into some plaits I just kind of like plait them up. I made sure that I washed before and um, did the braids or plaits or whatever you guys want to call it. I just plait it up and then I um, went ahead and put some elastic bands on the ends of the plaits so that they wouldn't um, unravel underneath the crochet braid and stuff. What I did was I used a scrunchie to, because you know that guys, you know my hair is cut short now. So it was kind of hard to get everything to be in one thing at the back because originally I wanted to just make a low low bun and then do the crochet braids over that back could because the ear couldn't catch. So what I did was after plaiting it up I caught as many in the pony at the back as I could and then the others I just bobby pinned them down which was probably about two or three of them. I just bobby pinned them down so that they would stay in place. So I did go ahead and try it with four packs of Yaman braiding hair. I wish I had one of the packets to show you guys but I will just put it right here to show you guys what it looks like. Um, I used four packs of that here that I had, I had it left over from a previous style um, so I actually just used it to do something because I really needed to do something to my hair and I wanted it to look as natural as possible. I cut the full length of hair into, into, um, into halves and then crochet it on. I feathered the ends and then crochet um, those on. In order to get it soft, I first um, flat ironed it first. Uh, I originally started blow drying it but the blow dryer that I had was really slow and I did not have the patience. So I just went through with the flat iron at about, I think it was 250 and it could have taken more heat, you just have to make quick passes and it did make it very soft and stringy. It kind of looked like an um, like actual flat iron job on natural hair. Like this hair behaves so much like natural hair is unbelievable. After I flat ironed everything and it was all soft, I cut it up. Cut it up dipped it in hot water. I put rods on the end so that it would be curly um, because I wanted kind of like a braid out pattern type thing. This is the same technique I used for my um, SZA inspired hair and makeup tutorial. It's the same hair I believe. I think that's the same hair that I used in that video too. So if you guys want more of a tutorial tutorial you guys can watch that one. It was with a longer length but this I really wanted it to just drop like a little bit off my shoulder. So under here is just plaits and bobby pins. That's all this is the back. It's nice and full without being like heavy and bulky or anything like that. So right here, I don't know if you guys can see, um, this is where the hair is attached in the front. And I just randomly placed them because I didn't want it to look too rowy and then make it extra obvious. So that's pretty much it. That's all I did. I didn't open up all of the the curls yet because I didn't want it to get too big but as the time goes on you guys can um 
open it up if you want um, to make it more voluminous if you want that but I'm not ready for that yet and it's able to be flipped over it's a bit versatile it's not like stuck one place you just have to get the curls out like where you want them to be and whatever but you can stitch up the part I will be wrapping this up probably close to a month maybe if I have the patience if I don't get tired of it because you guys know I get tired of my hair like so easy but I'm going to try to keep this in because I actually love the way it looks so yeah this is what I am wrapping for now my attempt at the braidless crochet right now I'm going to get into the pros and cons of a braidless crochet install that's really the reason why I wanted to make this video so let's talk about the pros first um, it's a bit easier and this is the main pro it is a bit easier if you don't know how to braid um, cornrow or stuff like that um, in terms of for the foundation it's easier for you because you don't have to be perfect with it however on the downside it doesn't give you much stability as for the base of the hairstyle so I don't even know how long this is going to last me I will probably have to manipulate it way less than I would if I did go ahead and put the cornrows in first so that's the first pro cut type thing second thing was as a pro this just depends on the size of your head. It may take less time for you if you don't have to put in the cornrows. For me, it took more because my hair um, is all on one length, so it was kind of hard to get everything in. And then um, it just, it's been a it's never did a work for me. So that's a, one of the reasons why I had to go over a period of three days to do the style. So it doesn't, it, well, for some it saves time, it did not do that for me. So that's definitely a con. And the next thing you might end up using way more hair than you intentionally planned if you have hair that is thick like mine um, it's taking more time that was one of the challenges but um, that's basically the pros and the cons um, the good thing about the braidless is definitely the fact that it might take less time as well as it might not if you have the technique down um, if your hair is able to be like in a bun or just something to the back easily then you can easily get away with this and you can freestyle the part you know with with the um, with the one that you have to part through you have to kind of get it more structured with this you can literally freestyle the way it goes in so that's one of the advantages as well the advantages as well um, with the braidless crochet if I'm flustered guys it's because I'm filming outside for like what is I don't know how much time this number film outside, but filming outside is very distracting, guys. You have like everything, people passing out kind of thing. It's very distracting. But um, I hope you guys get the gist of why I made this video. I really wanted to just come and show you guys the hair and um, give you guys an option of something that looks very, very real. Like this mimics a braid out on natural hair so well. Legit braid out, guys. Same texture, same feel. And the only thing is I know this will hold the curls like way longer than your actual hair would. For my edges, I am just using the Morphos Ashan Ultra Hair Wax thing. And this is the extra hold one. And I just applied some of that and made the baby hairs. I think I'm falling in love with this again. So I think I'm going to keep this. I definitely am going to keep this though. But that's all I did. Yeah. So I maintain it at night. What I do plan to do is go ahead and just put it back in braids probably not as many as I did initially to get the curls I will be putting it in about like four or five braids just braiding it down to the end I might add a little bit of product maybe a bit of water and just braid it back up at night put some elastic bands on the end and just put my bonnet on and that's it go to sleep so that's it for maintenance nothing that is too tedious this is definitely a low maintenance hairstyle and it just looks so good guys it just looks so bomb man, the volume, the softness, like it's literally unbelievable. But that's it guys, that's all I wanted to share with you guys for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you guys will be trying this. Uh, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time, stay naturally beautiful. Bye!